good evening everyone so welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core and advanced python welcome to core and advanced python so online batch okay it is a fast track batch sir okay it is a fast track batch so here myself k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience 15 years of experience as a trainer i have 15 years of experience as a trainer so as of now i am taking so many batches so many programs in our durga soft and coming to course what is the title of the course here we have core and advanced python core and advanced python here this course duration this course duration is sir 30 classes 30 classes within 30 classes we are going to finish this and excluding demos so this week completely demo will be there our regular classes will be there from monday our regular classes will be there from monday that is 16th onwards okay so from the 16th the regular classes will be there the people who are very interested to continue you can immediately join okay so these four classes monday to thursday demo classes will be there okay sir next the fees for this batch before that i need to compulsory mention timings already this batch got started at three o'clock sir just for add-on purpose i have taken the class at four o'clock but actual timings are from so 3 p.m to sir 4 30 p.m okay actual timings of this class is from 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m monday to saturday monday to saturday so i can say monday to friday saturdays we will take but occasionally suppose uh, around two or three saturdays i will take okay remaining two saturdays i will uh, uh, relieve you okay so monday to friday or monday to saturday we have the regular classes from 3 pm to 4 30 pm okay 3 pm to 4 30 pm we have classes and what is the fees for this batch the fees for this batch is rupees 5000 okay rupees 5000 is nothing but fees what we have the people who are interested to continue okay the people who are interested to continue so immediately you can start making the payments and you can get registered for this batch okay and the next and after that sir if i want to register for this so to whom we need to contact okay to whom we need to contact so here seven two zero seven two one two four two seven you can contact to this number or you can send a message to durga soft online training okay durga soft online training at gmail.com okay next how many demos we are going to take four demos will be there okay four demos will be there that is 9 1 2023 so 10 1 2023 11 1 2023 and uh, so 12 1 2023 okay if possible we will take uh, regular classes from 13th anyway 14th and 15th are festival right we are going to get a holiday okay next sir uh, this is nothing but information and uh, so till now i have taken almost five fast track batches this is nothing but a fast track batch 66 so python fast track sixth batch okay so this is nothing but what we have and i need to talk about the syllabus i need to talk about the syllabus so uh, we have around uh, some 20 chapters are there sir okay we have around 20 chapters are there all these chapters 20 to 25 chapters are there all these chapters in detail okay in detail we are going to discuss all these chapters in detail we are going to discuss so just this is nothing but the overview introduction to python okay then python fundamentals data types which are existed in python input and output statements which are available in python operators 
control flow statements up to this you can expect only fundamentals up to this you can expect only fundamentals so after this so we are going to talk about the data structure fundamentals explain how you can able to prepare the program for that what basics are required everything and five data structures are there so luckily in python our data types also will act as a data structures data structures means what so inserting the data retrieving the data okay performing some operations like searching and sorting so what are the efficient tools we have all these things will be available here also so inbuilt data structures are there around five data structures we have okay so string data structure list data structure tuple data structure set data structure dictionary data structure like this we have then so we are going to talk about uh, next level concepts functional programming in python so till now chapter number 1 to chapter number level we are going to talk about scripting scripting means what just we will write some sequence of execution the sequence of instructions and we will execute that that's all but in the functional programming we are going to create a function that function we are going to execute any number of times based on our requirement okay suppose i want to calculate factorial repeatedly in my project so if you want to uh, write a program every time it is a very difficult task create a module or create a package place that factorial function in that module or package whenever you required just create a link and access okay this kind of a facility is very very important right so that is called as a functional programming okay so you can use modules or packages something like that and we are going to see a small mini project okay we are going to see a small mini project on this also we are going to see a small mini project on this functional programming a small program i will explain then next main agenda object oriented programming like how you can able to provide security is the main agenda of object oriented programming like um, how you can able to create okay how you can able to create classes concept how you can able to create object so if you have already existing classes are there how you can able to extend the properties polymorphism means what overloading means what overriding means what all these things how we are going to work we are going to discuss in detail okay that is called as this oops concepts sir anyway around 50 sub topics are there in this object oriented programming in detail we will talk then exception handling suppose if you are executing any program during execution of the program if any runtime error occurred then how we are going to handle that situation that we are going to discuss in exception handling okay if any runtime error is occurred then how we are going to handle that so we are going to discuss in this next what is mean by multi threading so multitasking is very very important nowadays right parallelly we are going to execute okay so many tasks we are going to execute parallelly but how you can able to do that we are going to talk in detail in this multi threading okay so then regular expressions how you can able to write regular expressions regular expression means what suppose if you have um, a formality like we are going to read some data from the user and i need to search for the data in the database in such cases some some what you can call some problems are there for example if i am asking tell me your mobile number what you are going to tell for example if you give 123 as your mobile number is it a correct mobile number no but my application is going to accept that and it will store it in the database it is not correct whether the data is the data which is given by the user is following that particular proper format or not even you have seen when you are setting the password nowadays minimum 3 characters should be there so one upper case character one lower case character one digit like that we have certain rules and regulations are there like we are not touching the data 
but we are checking whether the data is in a proper format or not for that we have to go with what sir regular expression we have so many applications are there around 10 applications we are going to discuss in detail in this regular expressions next web scrapping means what okay so web scrapping means what how you can able to extract the data from websites of course it is not that much important but uh, we will see some one or two websites from that how you can able to extract the email ids how you can able to extract mobile number with live we will see okay so on these regular expressions exception hand sorry on these regular expressions and web scrapping we will see one project also mini project then this is optional but anyway which is very very important at the end sir whatever you have written sir i have written a beautiful program for student attendance management system sir i have accepted student hall ticket number so attendance report for the seven periods in day so every data i accept you have to store that data in the database or not yes because tomorrow attendance today attendance next day attendance we have to calculate to get the final percentage monthly or yearly okay so for that data must be stored somewhere right whether it may be in your pc or server or any cloud that is secondary but whatever data you are accepting whatever processing that you are doing you should store that data okay for that we have two phases are there one is you can store the information on file second one is you can store the information on database okay so we are going to see how we are going to deal with the files and uh, database connectivity also we are going to discuss with this a just a small project we are going to see so this is nothing but 25 chapters in detail we are going to discuss in our python course of course it is 20 chapters only only projects are there after completion of every chapter okay so do you have any doubts in this uh, uh, course information please confirm yes hello sir i have one yes. concern mm, please so in 30 days we are able to understand full python as you said yes that. yes yes you can able to understand because uh, if we are i'm not uh, from programming background so it is uh, able yeah. To understand no, no, yeah, no problem. You can able to understand because Python is very easy, sir, when compared with other languages. I think you have heard that. Okay. okay. Uh, Python is not that much difficult programming language. So you can learn Python in a very easy manner. Instructions, everything will be very clear and easy. So not that much difficulty will be there. So after this, we are able to apply for a real time uh, in a real company after that. Yeah, yeah, you can apply, sir. But whatever fundamentals are required, everything we are going to provide from here. Okay. Thank you. Right, sir. Any other queries, friends? Please feel free to ask your queries. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, sir. Yeah, hi, Govind. Sir, uh, you need a real-time project provide? No, no, no. We are not going to deal with any real-time projects. See, real-time projects, it is not that much correct word, sir. Okay. Real-time project means uh, we have to work on the company with a big project team size and so many things will be there. So at learning stage, that is not correct. Okay, okay. Uh, external APIs, uh, Django basics. No, no, no. We are not going to cover all these things. Later, after completion of the Python, you have to opt a separate course for that. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Right. Any other? Any other doubts? Yeah, hi, sir. Hi. Sir, this Python will be helpful for data science. Sir, data science main agenda is Python only. Okay. 
okay so without the python basics even you can't uh, spend one day on data science these are going to give the benefit there if they are writing lambda expressions you should know in advance what is meant by lambda expression there they won't explain okay, okay. sir is it uh, offline is already uh, it is it is it is online sir it is online already the batch was started in the last week okay sir your contact number is your sir no 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 it is our admin team okay fine right yeah so hope all your doubts are cleared so i will continue the classes sir okay now sir uh, first first uh, just to give some kind of uh, uh, benefit for you people i will write some python programs i will write some python programs so that you people are going to feel how much easy my python programming language is direct programs i will take so don't look into that uh, in detail just uh, try to understand at a top level because i have not yet started python fundamentals on the first day first first topic if i execute a python program you people are going to get confused but my confident so my confident on this is nothing but just i am explaining how much easy python is beyond that nothing so uh i am going to write the python program in a separate file called test.py test.py so always a python file extension will be .py .py and uh, so import i am taking math i am importing math module because so in the math module so many mathematical related functionalities will be there then print of math. i am taking factorial of if you take a 5 sir it is going to return 5 factorial sir where you have written the code python is best choice for redefined things sir okay everything is available in the form of module i want to generate a three digit otp we are not required to write a big code just only one or two lines of code is sufficient to generate otps okay so like that we have just a second sir please wait for 2 minutes
yeah sorry for the delay sir now sir you can able to see here um to calculate factorial how much a simple code i have written just there is a predefined function is there with the name factorial so factorial of 5 if you take it is going to calculate 5 factorial it is going to calculate 5 factorial okay sir you know very well what is a 5 factorial right 120 just it is going to return that how to execute python program means p by space test dot p by you have to take to execute a python program sir if you take p by space test dot p by you can able to see we are getting 120 sir can i calculate factorial for 3 yes 3 factorial is a 6 sir can i fact find factorial for 1 yes it is 1 sir factorial for 0 it is nothing but 1 like that we are getting okay sir it is a very simple right so we are not required to write a big lines of code in python but in other languages we have to write a loop like that we need to take and one more advantage i want to address because here the situation came is it possible to calculate a factorial of 10 yes in all the languages we can calculate but is it possible to calculate a factorial for 100 it is highly impossible to find a factorial for 100 okay in other programming languages but in python yes you can find out because sir there is no range concept so there is no range concept in python everything will be treated as a python object so this object memory allocation will be there so content can be anything there is no particular limitation on the range okay so i hope you people got uh, this first python program in very clear manner sir can you please confirm is the concept is clear clear friends Yes, sir, clear. Right. Now, so next, um, sir, why these many students are there? Kindly respond, sir. Is not correct. So, next one, sir, I want to write a program to generate some three digit OTP. Three digit OTP. For that also, there is one special method, a method or module is there with name random. Just you have to take random dot rand int of, you can provide the limit like x and then y. So it will generate the random number in between this x and y. But remember in Python, first argument is mandatory. Second argument is Sir, it sorry, first argument is included, last argument is excluded. It will generate any random number from x to y minus 1. Sir, I want a three digit. From where the three digit numbers will start? 100. Where the three digit numbers are going to end? You can provide 1000. 1000 means 1000 minus 1 will become 399. So, 399 is included. Now, you can able to check first time I am executing. I got a three digit OTP like 589. Same program. I didn't do any modification. Second time I'm trying to execute. You can see we are getting 539. Third time 709. Okay. Fourth time 134. Every time is it generating a random values or not? Yes. So this is nothing but what we have. A simple how many lines of code we have written? only so two lines of code we have written just to generate a random value so from 100 to 1000 that is nothing but in our point of view i can say three digit otp okay sir clear up to this second program is it clear for you people yes right the people who are feeling python is very difficult i think with this at least you got uh, some 10 percent uh, fear of gone. okay now i want to start our actual syllabus 
that is nothing but introduction introduction to python sir who introduced python i want to spend some time on this exploration very simple sir there is one person is there with name gudio van gudio van rosam so he is the he is the founder of python he developed python sir by preparing some mathematical related project he is doing some calculations on uh, mathematics when he is calculating he need some he need some calculation he need uh, some uh, some integral or differentiation something like that he need some calculations for that he need a script he need a script sir he searched for so many programming languages those programming languages are giving the result but not accurate that's why python people i mean this gudio uh, uh, has developed a own scripting language so he developed a own scripting language own scripting language to to get the solution but he succeeded in that but later he got that how much power that script has that's why he converted he converted that scripting language into python programming language okay python programming language sir at very beginning when this python programming language came on 21st okay on 21st february on 21st february 1991 so the first official version of python came into the market and python has so many drops out there so many new features has introduced sir everything happened so at the top level there are three versions are there in python one is a python 1.x python 2.x and python 3.x okay sir python 1.x is not that much popular sir at the initial days there are some problems are there these problems came in the picture when you start comparing with other languages only and in 2.x also they have faced some there are some issues so completely they have changed the syntax of python 1 and python 2 with new syntax and with new concepts they came up with 3.x so 3.x i can say it is a stable python version it is a stable python version but again so many versions are there but it is a continuation to 3.x so they are never tried to change to the syntax so this python 1.x is a syntax why is it difficult So 2.x is also different syntaxes. 3.x is also different syntax. Even though these three languages are same, but syntactically there are some changes. So that's why even you can't expect 4.x in future. Maybe we don't know. But 3.x is very popular nowadays. You know very well. That's why so 3.x is the stable. But 3.x versions got updated. from 3.1 to the latest version is 3.11 so many versions are there anyway we will discuss the installation process everything in detail okay so python is so i can say very very easy programming language very very easy programming language when compared with the other programming languages that is very important when compared with other programming languages python is nothing but very very easy simple sir simple sir okay sir how this python name came sir the majority of the people are going to feel python means a big snake no there is a popular comedy show is there so the complete the complete monty is python flying circus okay which was telecasted okay which is telecasted in tbc in the olden days it is a comedy show sir okay it is it is nothing but a comedy show so this gudio van rosam he is interested in this comedy show he extracted the word python from this comedy show okay and kept as a language name sir beyond that nothing okay then sir what are the application areas application areas of python sir where we can use because this is very much important from this only you people are going to get full fledged knowledge sir it is used in mission learning applications it is used in mission learning applications even artificial okay artificial intelligence artificial intelligence also we are using this python and even in the data science domain also we are using python and even in the web applications also we are going to use python and in desktop applications also we are using python except for that 
distributed applications also we are going to use python and even in the gaming domains also we are using python and even in data analysis in data analysis also we are using python like this we have different uh, areas are there where we can use python and some people are going to feel sir really python we are using in the real time so just one small question so which companies which companies okay which companies are using python just a small question is there let us search so at the top level, top level so these are the few these are five companies which we have google is using python youtube is using python nasa is using python dropbox is using python and even netflix OTT medium is their right platform is also using python like we have so many so many uh what you can call uh, online platforms are there okay so you can able to just have a lens really is these companies are using python or not just i will search this so uh, you can able to see which companies are using python if you want you can see the images okay sir have you observed Okay, have you heard here? We have. Okay. Yes, you can see. Top companies using Python. Netflix is there. JP Morgan, NASA, YouTube. Okay. So Google, Instagram, IBM. So Amazon, Hike, Yahoo. Like we have so many companies are there. Still they are using Python. I hope you people got very clear clarity about this can you please confirm do you have any doubt in this introduction please confirm no sir no sir right so next thing softwares required softwares required to execute python application sir softwares which are used to execute python right so softwares required to execute python applications sir i want to develop a simple python program so how i can able to execute this python applications so what softwares are required the first thing is nothing but you need some editor sir any editor you can use either notepad or notepad plus plus okay so we have edit plus is there okay next and after that vs code is there next and after that sublime text like we have different editors are there anything you can able to download and you can use it so currently i am typing some notes right this is uh, nothing but a sublime text sir okay so notepad plus plus edit plus like we have so many editors are there and even sir we can able to use command prompt or powershell so it is a default available in every python i mean every operating system so it is existed in every operating system command prompt will be there or we can able to use a powershell anything so here i have executed the programs right this is called as a command prompt anyway tomorrow session i will give that clarity how you can able to work with it next you have to install python latest version python latest version also anyway i will explain installation process also after completion of this sir even we have some ides also there ides means what integrated development integrated development environment okay uh, sir like we have so many things are there here we have anaconda navigator is there we have spider is there so jupiter notebook is there like uh, pycharm like we have so many ids are there sir we can use any ide based on your requirement at a very beginning days that means at a while learning stage i request everyone to please practice the programs by using these three only never recommended to go for ides but after finishing our python course you can use any ide problem at all you will get the fluency 
but in the initial days in these ides auto support will be there sir automatically it is going to detect the errors auto completions will be there so if you type one or two lines automatically one or two characters it will give suggest or sometimes it will replace uh, appropriate function also but that is not good which will make us very lazy okay then sir python official website so what is the python official website we have http yes colon double slash so www.python.org is the official website what we have okay so this is nothing but python official website if you want to download python software everything possible from here only okay so downloads so what is the latest version here you can 3.11 sir the complete information like documentation anything you can get it from this thing sir and we are not required to pay any amount for this it is a completely freeware freeware and open source and i told right what are the different python versions are existed so i told so python 1.x is there and python 2.x is there and python 3.x is there in python 3.x 3.1 is there so python 3.2 is there okay so in python 3.3 so python 3.4 so python 3.5 so python 3.6 python 3.7 3.8 so python so 3.9 so python 3.10 and what is the latest version python 3.11 this is nothing but what we have anyway now i am going to explain installation process installation of python how you can able to install in your mission sir up to this python versions from where we can download and which softwares are required are you clear with this please confirm is it clear yes right. yes sir good yeah yeah clear right so i want to install this uh, python sir so if you want to install python software so uh, already in my system already python is there but i don't want to uninstall and again reinstall i already prepared one beautiful video for this okay just i will play that video so you can able to watch very clearly so how you can able to install that python sir okay just have a look once how it will be yes sir you can able to just give confirmation are you getting audio from this file or hi friend to check how yes, many versions audio of is python yes sir yes sir right i will play this file from the beginning it has a 10 minutes video is there kindly watch this so which will give a clear indication how you can able to install python and i will mute every participant in this time period and i will be on mute please have a look once hi friends in today's video i want to explain python installation installation process suppose if you want to work with python yes definitely we required python software okay so you need to install that python software in your operating system whether it may be linux or unix or mac os or windows but as of now i am using windows operating system we will try to install
python latest version into this particular mission so that uh, follow these steps while installing in your system also so before moving to that uh, I need to check how many versions of uh, Python was installed in my mission. Sir, there is one command is there in the command prompt you have to check py space hyphen zero. What is that command, sir? Py hyphen zero. Once if you press enter, it will display what are the list of installed Python versions in your mission. So as a trainer, I need to explain every concept for the students. That's why these are the installed versions sir total how many versions are installed from 3.1 to 3.9 now i want to install the latest version what is the latest version 3.10 sir how to download that latest version sir you have to go for python.org website okay http colon yes double slash www.python.org okay in this website you can find the latest version of python as of now the latest version of python is nothing but 3.10 let us check whether it is available or not yes download okay download python 3.10.5 just click on this automatically your download is going to be started okay almost it is having 27 mb file let us download it yes sir just to open this show in folder you can see so python 3.10 is there so installing this python software is just like a normal software installation you need to double click this particular exe file so that what will happen so it will ask a welcome page like this install python 3.10.4 sorry 5 64 bit sir don't press directly install now so in the bottom you can see install launcher for all users which is recommended and have you observed add python 3.10 to the path compulsory you have to check this button sir because if you see java or any other programming languages so compulsory you have to set the path that means whatever commands they have given you need to set that commands then only you can able to run your programs but here 3.10 path i want to set automatically while installing the software itself now i want to click on install now sir what happens it will ask for administrative permissions once if you click yes automatically the installation is going to be done sir okay of course definitely it will take some time so please wait for one or two minutes the setup will complete other than that no need to give any credentials all these things just i will be on mute for a few minutes
yes as you can see setup was successful just click on close sir now i need to check really whether it is installed or not again which command you have to type py hyphen zero you can see previously 3.9 is the latest version now 3.10 is nothing but latest version sir we can install 3.9 right why you have installed 3.10 very simple sir now i want to write a program to differentiate uh, what is the difference between these two okay let me take one simple python program observe carefully sir i have taken small x is equal to something like 10 but while printing i am taking capital x okay i have taken small x only but by mistake i have taken capital x in my printing statement how this error is identified by python how this error is identified by python so py space test dot py as of now i want to execute this program in 3.9 version 3.9 version if i execute this program in 3.9 version what error message we got name error sir name x is not defined same program i want to run in 3.10 sir there is a more meaningful error message we are going to get name x is not defined did you mean small x like that it is giving some kind of hint sir one more example i want to take one dictionary like one colon o n e one of course these topics we will cover in future sir two like this that's all that's all now i want to execute this code in 3.9 sir what it is telling unexpected end of file while parsing let me take in 3.10 have you observed here it is indicating array there is one syntax error closed open bracket you have used which was never closed you have not closed this particular bracket so such a type of more meaningful error messages are introduced in which version python 3.10 not only this one we have so many things are there of course if time permits everything we will discuss in our python course okay so in this video i hope you got clarity how you can able to install python software into your mission right yeah enjoy thank you sir yeah clear right so i hope you got very clear clarity about how we can able to install python software right clear friends yes yes sir. right so that's all about uh, today's session and the steps to execute okay steps to execute python application so how you can able to write the program where we have to store everything one by one point to point i will explain in the tomorrow's classes okay right so thank you good evening everyone good evening everyone so welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core and advanced python welcome to core and advanced python so online batch okay it is a fast track batch sir okay it is a fast track batch so here myself k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience 
15 years of experience as a trainer i have 15 years of experience as a trainer so as of now i am taking so many batches so many programs in our durga soft and coming to course what is the title of the course here we have core and advanced python core and advanced python here this course duration this course duration is sir 30 classes 30 classes within 30 classes we are going to finish this and excluding demos so this week completely demo will be there our regular classes will be there from monday our regular classes will be there from monday that is 16th onwards okay so from the 16th the regular classes will be there the people who are very interested to continue you can immediately join okay so these four classes monday to thursday demo classes will be there okay sir next the fees for this batch before that i need to compulsory mention timings already this batch got started at three o'clock sir just for add-on purpose i have taken the class at four o'clock but actual timings are from so 3 p.m to sir 4 30 p.m okay actual timings of this class is from 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m monday to saturday monday to saturday so i can say monday to friday saturdays we will take but occasionally suppose uh, around two or three saturdays i will take okay remaining two saturdays i will uh, uh, relieve you okay so monday to friday or monday to saturday we have the regular classes from 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m okay 3 p.m to 4 30 p.m we have classes and what is the fees for this batch the fees for this batch is rupees 5000 okay rupees 5000 is nothing but fees what we have the people who are interested to continue okay the people who are interested to continue so immediately you can start making the payments and you can get registered for this batch okay and the next and after that sir if i want to register for this so to whom we need to contact okay to whom we need to contact so here 720-721-2427 you can contact to this number or you can send a message to durga soft online training okay durga soft online training at gmail.com okay next how many demos we are going to take four demos will be there okay four demos will be there that is 9 1 2023 so 10 1 2023 11 1 2023 and uh, so 12 1 2023 okay if possible we will take uh, regular classes from 13th anyway 14th and 15th are festival right we are going to get a holiday okay next sir uh, this is nothing but information and uh, so till now i have taken almost five fast track batches this is nothing but a fast track batch sixth so python fast track sixth batch okay so this is nothing but what we have and i need to talk about the syllabus i need to talk about the syllabus so uh, we have around uh, some 20 chapters are there sir okay we have around 20 chapters are there all these chapters 20 to 25 chapters are there all these chapters in detail okay in detail we are going to discuss all these chapters in detail we are going to discuss so just this is nothing but the overview introduction to python okay then python fundamentals data types which are existed in python input and output statements which are available in python operators control flow statements up to this you can expect only fundamentals up to this you can expect only fundamentals so after this so we are going to talk about the data structure fundamentals explain how you can able to prepare the program for that what basics are required everything and five data structures are there so luckily in python our data types also will act as a data structures. Data structures means what? So inserting the data, retrieving the data, 
okay performing some operations like searching and sorting so what are the efficient tools we have all these things will be available here also so inbuilt data structures are there around five data structures we have okay so string data structure list data structure tuple data structure set data structure dictionary data structure like this we have then so we are going to talk about uh, next level concepts functional programming in python so till now chapter number one to chapter number level we are going to talk about scripting scripting means what just we will write some sequence of execution the sequence of instructions and we will execute that that's all but in the functional programming we are going to create a function that function we are going to execute any number of times based on our requirement okay suppose i want to calculate factorial repeatedly in my project so if you want to uh, write a program every time it is a very difficult task create a module or create a package place that factorial function in that module or package whenever you required just create a link and access okay this kind of a facility is very very important right so that is called as a functional programming okay so you can use modules or packages something like that and we are going to see a small mini project okay we are going to see a small mini project on this also we are going to see a small mini project on this functional programming a small program i will explain then next main agenda object oriented programming like how you can able to provide security is the main agenda of object oriented programming like um, how you can able to create okay how you can able to create classes concept how you can able to create object so if you have already existing classes are there how you can able to extend the properties polymorphism means what overloading means what overriding means what all these things how we are going to work we are going to discuss in detail okay that is called as this hoops concepts sir anyway around 50 subtopics are there in this object oriented programming in detail we will talk then exception handling suppose if you are executing any program during execution of the program if any runtime error occurred then how we are going to handle that situation that we are going to discuss in exception handling okay if any runtime error is occurred then how we are going to handle that so we are going to discuss in this next what is mean by multi threading so multitasking is very very important nowadays right parallelly we are going to execute okay so many tasks we are going to execute parallelly but how you can able to do that we are going to talk in detail in this multi threading okay that then regular expressions how you can able to write regular expressions regular expression means what suppose if you have um, a formality like we are going to read some data from the user and i need to search for the data in the database in such cases some some what you can call some problems are there for example if i am asking tell me your mobile number what you are going to tell for example if you give 123 as your mobile number is it a correct mobile number no but my application is going to accept that and it will store it in the database it is not correct whether the data is the data which is given by the user is following that particular proper format or not you have seen when you are setting the password nowadays minimum three characters should be there so one upper case character one lower case character one digit like that we have certain rules and regulations are there like we are not touching the data but we are checking whether the data is in a proper format or not for that we have to go with what sir regular expression we have so many applications are there around 10 applications we are going to discuss in detail in this regular expressions next web scrapping means what okay so web scrapping means what how you can able to extract the data from websites of course it is not that much important but uh, we will see some one or two websites from that how you can able to extract the email ids how you can able to extract mobile number with live we will see okay 
so on this regular expressions exception hand sorry on this regular expressions and web scrapping we will see one project also mini project then this is optional but anyway which is very very important at the end sir whatever you have written sir i have written a beautiful program for student attendance management system sir i have accepted student hall ticket number so attendance report for the seven periods in day so every data i accept you have to store that data in the database or not yes because tomorrow attendance today attendance next day attendance we have to calculate to get the final percentage monthly or yearly okay so for that data must be stored somewhere right whether it may be in your pc or server or any cloud that is secondary but whatever data you are accepting whatever processing that you are doing you should store that data okay for that we have two phases are there one is you can store the information on file second one is you can store the information on database okay so we are going to see how we are going to deal with the files and uh, database connectivity also we are going to discuss with this a just a small project we are going to see so this is nothing but 25 chapters in detail we are going to discuss in our python course of course it is 20 chapters only only projects are there after completion of every chapter okay so do you have any doubts in this uh, uh, course information please confirm yes hello sir i have one yes. concern mm, please so in 30 days we are able to understand full python as you said yes that. Yes, yes, you can able to understand. Because uh, if we are, I'm not uh, from programming background, so it is uh, able yeah. to understand. No, no, yeah, no problem. You can able to understand because Python is very easy, sir, when compared with other languages. I think you have heard that. Okay. okay. Uh, Python is not that much difficult programming language, so you can learn Python in a very easy manner. Instructions, everything will be very clear and easy, so not that much difficulty will be there. So after this, we are able to apply for a real time uh, in a real company after that. Yeah, yeah, you can apply, sir. But whatever fundamentals are required, everything we are going to provide from here. Okay. Thank you. Right, sir. Any other queries, friends? Please feel free to ask your queries. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, sir. Yeah, hi, Govind. Sir, uh, any real-time real project provide? No, no, no. We are not going to deal with any real-time projects. See, real-time projects, it is not that much correct word, sir. Okay. Real-time project means uh, we have to work on the company with a big project team size and so many things will be there. So, at learning stage, that is not correct. Okay, okay. The external APIs, uh, Django basics. No, no, no. We are not going to cover all these things. Later, after completion of the Python, you have to opt a separate course for that. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Right. Hmm. Any other? Any other doubts? Yeah, hi, sir. Hi. Sir, this Python will be helpful for data science. Sir, data science main agenda is Python only. Okay. Okay. So without Python basics, even you can't uh, spend one day on data science. These are going to give the benefit there. If they are writing lambda expressions, you should know in advance what is meant by lambda expressions. There they won't explain. Okay. okay. Sir, is it uh, it is it is online, sir. It is online. Already the batch was started in the last week. Okay. Sir, here contact number is yours, sir. No, 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 no. It is our admin team. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, so hope all your doubts are cleared.
so i will continue the classes sir okay now sir uh, first first uh, just to give some kind of uh, uh, benefit for you people i will write some python programs i will write some python programs so that you people are going to feel how much easy my python programming language is direct programs i will take so don't look into that uh, in detail just uh, try to understand at the top level because i have not yet started python fundamentals on the first day first first topic if i execute a python program you people are going to get confused but my confident so my confident on this is nothing but just i am explaining how much easy python is beyond that nothing so uh, i am going to write the python program in a separate file called test.py test.py so always a python file extension will be .py .py and uh, so import i am taking math i am importing math module because so in the math module so many mathematical related functionalities will be there then print of math dot i am taking factorial of if you take a five sir it is going to return five factorial sir where you have written the code python is best choice for redefined things sir okay everything is available in the form of module i want to generate a three digit otp we are not required to write a big code just to only one or two lines of code is sufficient to generate otps okay so like that we have just a second sir please wait for two minutes yeah sorry for the delay sir now sir you can able to see here 
um, to calculate factorial, how much simple code I have written? Just there is a predefined function is there with the name factorial. So factorial of 5, if you take, it is going to calculate 5 factorial. It is going to calculate 5 factorial. Okay. So you know very well what is a 5 factorial, right? 120. Just it is going to return that. How to execute Python program means py space test dot py you have to take to execute Python program, sir. If you take py space test dot py, you can able to see we are getting 120. Sir, can I calculate factorial for 3? Yes, 3 factorial is a 6. Sir, can I fact find factorial for 1? Yes, it is 1. Sir, factorial for 0? It is nothing but 1, like that we are getting. Okay. Sir, it is a very simple, right? So, we are not required to write a big lines of code in Python. But in other languages, we have to write a loop like that we need to take. And one more advantage I want to address because here the situation came. Is it possible to calculate a factorial of 10? Yes, in all the languages we can calculate. But is it possible to calculate a factorial for 100? It is highly impossible to find a factorial for 100. Okay, in other programming languages. But in Python, yes, you can find out. Because, sir, there is no range concept. So, there is no range concept in Python. Everything will be treated as a Python object. So, this object memory allocation will be there. So, content can be anything. There is no particular limitation on the range. Okay. So, I hope you people got uh, this first Python program in very clear manner, sir. Can you please confirm? Is the concept is clear? Clear, friends? Yes, sir, clear. Right. Now, so next term, sir, why these many students are there? Kindly respond, sir. Is not correct. So next one, sir, I want to write a program to generate some three-digit OTP. Three-digit OTP. For that also, there is one special method, a method or module is there with name random. Just you have to take random dot rand int of, you can provide the limit like x and then y. So it will generate the random number in between this x and y. But remember in Python, first argument is mandatory. Second argument is, uh, sir, it, sorry, first argument is included. Last argument is excluded. It will generate any random number from x to y minus 1. Sir, I want a three digit. From where the three digit numbers will start? 100. Where the three digit numbers are going to end, you can provide 1000. 1000 means 1000 minus 1 will become 999. So, 999 is included. Now, you can able to check. First time I am executing, I got a three digit OTP like 589. Same program. I didn't do any modification. Second time I am trying to execute, you can see we are getting 539. Third time, 700. Okay. Fourth time, 134. Every time, is it generating a random values or not? Yes. So, this is nothing but what we have. A simple, how many lines of code we have written? Only. So, two lines of code we have written just to generate a random value. So, from 100 to 1000. That is nothing but in our point of view, I can say, Three digit OTP. Okay. Sir, clear up to this second program. Is it clear for you people? Yes. Right. The people who are feeling Python is very difficult. I think at least you got uh, some 10% uh, fear of Giscon. Okay. Now I want to start our actual syllabus.